Yesterday, one of the fire lookouts on our forest called in a smoke, meaning they could see a wildland fire and they called it in on the radio. The neat thing about this smoke is that three fire lookouts could see the smoke. So in a matter of minutes, they each reported their azimuth to each other. Then the fire lookout who did the initial report was able to cross those azimuths and determine even a more accurate location than he could have if only he had been able to see the smoke. Even if just two lookouts can see the smoke and you cross your azimuths, it's very helpful. It's very accurate. So the fastest way to cross azimuths real quick is on that drop down map that you saw early in this video. But for the sake of keeping my location discreet, I'm going to show you how it works on a Venza Maps on my iPad. So the red dot is the smoke. The three blue dots are fire lookouts. This is not my current forest. It's just an example. So I'm going to say this bottom left blue dot was the first fire lookout that saw the smoke and shot his azimuth. He's doing that by using his Osborne Firefinder that's in the middle of the room that you've seen in the videos. Now from the time you see the smoke to the time you have your azimuth, it's less than a minute. It's the first thing you do when you see a smoke. Okay, so then after he has his, real quick, he's calling on the radio to the other fire lookout and asking if they can see the smoke and what their azimuth is. Okay, great, they can see the smoke too and they come back with their azimuth. So those two orange lines crossing on the map here are the azimuth. It's the direction the smoke is from the fire lookout. Then in this case, which is really fun, a third lookout got on the radio and said, hey, here's my azimuth. I can see it also. So already you could see where those two orange lines crossed. That's going to be a pretty darn accurate location. But often the base of the smoke is obscured from your view or the wind is pushing the smoke. So your azimuth could be a little bit off. Still, it's going to be pretty close. But here you see when the third lookout calls in theirs, the three lines cross. And in that little triangle is pretty darn accurately where that smoke is going to be. If some of those fire lookouts could not see the base of that smokes, their azimuth may have been off because they could have been shooting towards where they saw the smoke coming over a ridge, say. And that could be inaccurate because the wind could be blowing the smoke so that by the time it rises over the ridge for somebody to see it, it could be a little off, but it's pretty close and they're going to get resources there. 